Are you a fan of video games? Do you enjoy half thought out battle plans? Are you a fucking moron? Well, then you're in the right place. Grab a controller and watch your back because the team killing glitch tards have just entered the chat. Oh, yeah, that's right. Welcome back, everyone, to another fine episode of the Team Killing Glitch Tards. Um, yeah. You remind me I have a tangent to go on to. A tangent? After, after this. Oh, okay. After, you after the intro, after yeah. the plugs. Okay. No, no, after your... Or I guess we could start off with my tangent. Yeah, let's start we, off with the tangent. Let's yeah. go on a tangent. All right. Well, we're going to start off today with Frank's tangent, but we're going to also be talking about the good old days of Xbox Live. My name's Josh. I'm here today with good buddy Frank. I'm yes. here today with good buddy Frank. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm also here today with young Ruben. Hello. Young Ruben. Because he's young. That was... Come on. What? What's wrong with that? Because he's like too young to know what Xbox Live... Back in the old days, he doesn't remember. He doesn't know. Ruben doesn't know why we're afraid if the group chats from Xbox Live ever get leaked, all right? He doesn't know. He wasn't there. He was not alive. Well, he was alive, maybe, but like, not really. That was really the best you can come up with? Young Ruben. I'm ashamed of you. Whatever, man. What do you want me to say? I expect a better idea. Why don't you come up with a better idea? I'm not the idea guy. Oh, fuck it. Here we go. You know what, Ruben? Make your own nickname. How about that? We're going to break tradition. You make your own goddamn nickname. How about that? Freak. Okay. <laughs> or what about Don Juan Rubidon? I, that's a lot better than fucking Young, young Ruben. <laughs> well, he's like, I was thinking, I was going for like Young Neil from like uh, Scott you're, Pilgrim. You're like, hey there, Young Blood. Yeah, like, hey, it's Young Ruben. Look, it's Young Ruben. <laughs> All right, well, anyways, it's Don Juan Rubidon here today. All right, fine, that's what you're going to be known as from now on, then. Anyways, God damn it, it's going to start raining again. It's going to rain all next week? <sighs> Fuck. Anyways, uh, for, uh, if you want to follow us, go to Game Rage Magazine on YouTube. Uh, subscribe there, please. Uh, we're, we're 17 subscribers away from hitting our goal, and so that we can eat this month. So it'll all be a very Merry Christmas if we, we can paid? just get 17 more subscribers. What? We get paid? No, it'll just mean we get to eat. Like that means we get paid. No, we're, we're, you're not allowed to eat until we get 17 more fucking <laughs> subscribers. Okay, that's the fucking rules. That has nothing to do with getting paid. This just has to do with until we get 17 subscribers, we are on a fucking hunger strike. Okay, that's what's happening. So please, please, God help us and unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you can go to Game Rage Magazine on YouTube. Also, Instagram and TikTok, Game Rage Magazine, Twitter slash X Game Rage Mag. If you like the animes and mangas, you can follow Frank at anime underscore syndicate underscore podcast and check out the anime syndicate podcast. All right, Frank, let's uh let's hear your tangent. What do you got for me, bud- good buddy? I am very fucking pissed at the video game awards. Oh, okay. Is there a specific reason? You know what? The, look at who's the look at the nominations for game of the year. Video game awards. Uh, wait a minute. Who does them? Does, this, this oh, it's Thursday, December twelfth. Okay, it says game awards, right? Yes. Uh, nominees. Okay, game of the year. We had wait what? That can't be right. What? Uh. Fucking metaphor refantasio. What the fuck is that? It's an uh, interesting game. Okay, all right. Well, let me. Why want to let me see the whole fucking? You gotta click on it. The complete list of oh game of the year nominees. I don't want just game of the year. I want all the categories. No, just focus on game of the year. Okay, so we got Astrobot. That game's fucking great. But it's uh, not game of the year. It's it? no. It's fucking great. You're biased because of your daughter. Yeah, that I don't give a fuck. That game is game of the year worthy in my no, opinion. No, it's not. Okay, we also have. Balato, Balarto, what the fuck is that? Uh, everybody's telling me it's a really good fucking game. I haven't played it, but I heard really Balatro. It looks like some kind of card game. It says, okay, whatever. Uh, we have Black Myth Wukong. Fuck that game, but okay, I can it's, see that. I, I can see it. I can see it's it. It's the next two. Elden Ring, Shadow of the Erd Tree. Okay. Elden Ring, and then we have what? Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. They said this year that DLC and remakes are now considered part. Or can, are now consi- are now up for consideration for game of the year. Okay, so wait a minute. What? 
I thought there was plenty of games that came out this year that were fucking great. Do you notice one game that's not up there? Uh, I don't know, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. You're a disgrace. Yeah, I know. What is it? Fucking Space Marines. Oh, shit. That can't... Well, wait a minute. When did the review... Oh, no, because Astro came, came out, out the after... the same month as Black Myth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, why the fuck is Space Marine 2 not on there? Why is Helldivers 2 not on there? How is that not a game of the year fucking game? <laughs> And people are saying, oh, people are saying, oh, Health Divers is on there because it's a single platform game. But I'm like, uh, Astrobot's uh, a single platform game. So Black Myth Wukong's a single fucking platform yeah. game. But it's supposed to be coming to the Xbox. Who? Black Myth. Well, I'll tell you right now, Astrobot's never coming to the no, Xbox. No, of course not. And then Elder Ring's probably never going to come to Xbox. Now. Uh, the next ones aren't going to come to it either. Really? Sony Bottom. Oh. So that's it. Mm hmm. <laughs> There's this guy I saw. He, he made a fucking great point about it. Mm hmm. Where he like he he does like that whole TikTok thing like the like Fenrir does where he pretends to be characters mm-hmm. where he's like he's supposed to represent the uh, the fan base and then he is also him playing uh, PlayStation and he said oh we are proud to announce that we have bought the majority shares of um, I forgot the name of the company is from software from software so yeah and the guy's like no that's fucking horrible like what I'm saying like oh what are you talking about this is gonna be great blah, blah, blah. He goes, and then he's like says um. Saying that, you know, them doing it exclusively for PlayStation is, is going to be bad for the industry. And he was, and then he's like, the PlayStation guy's like, well, I didn't see you guys lose your shit when um, Microsoft bought Blizzard Activision. Because because Xbox is still putting those games out on PlayStation. Oh, yeah, they've guaranteed that they're still going to come out on PlayStation. Play, because Xbox cares about PlayStation players. Yeah, and, and they like, shouldn't. But they do. Yeah, and, like, and they're starting to put their exclusives on PlayStation now. Yeah. Halo is going to be coming, to, which to me feels like straight blasphemy that Halo is going to be on PlayStation. It does. But at the same time, I understand. Yeah, because that's a whole untapped market that they can continue to make breaking, cutting edge systems mm-hmm. on Xbox that are better than PlayStation. And they can continue to do that because of the money they're going to make off of selling exclusive Xbox games just like now when, on PlayStation. Just like when the, sh- the show Came on to Xbox. Oh, yeah. And it was like, that was fucking, I don't know how that happened still, but fuck, when that shit happened, it was like, oh, so Xbox stolen exclusive from PlayStation. Yeah. Yeah. And not only did they steal it, they put it on the Game Pass for free. For free, man. For free. <laughs> Where, that was the best so part. It's a PlayStation exclusive. And if you want to play it on PlayStation, you got to show that $60 for it. But if you're paying ten bucks or whatever it is at right now for Game Pass, you can play whenever the fuck you want. Yep, and you download it, delete it, send it back. Fucking, <laughs> oh man! And it was like the biggest f you to PlayStation, and I was like, that sort of makes up for Destiny. Yeah, yeah. And so I was like, back to this. I'm like, Elden Ring should not be in there. I Elden agree. Ring already won Game of the Year when it came out. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's a DLC. It should DLCs and remakes should be their own fucking category. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. That's for sure. And if you look at the rest of the list, the lists of the categories, it's basically some variation of these fucking games that yes. are on game. Of the well, year. that's always every year. But I mean, it seems especially egregious this time around. I don't know. It's but. always that's always the case because there's always those ones that are Oh yeah, fucking Boulder's Gate 3 isn't up there either. Yeah, it's got it's it's only nominated for best community support. Like, the fuck does that even fucking mean? <laughs> yeah, but to no one's surprise, fucking that new uh, uh, fucking uh, Dragon Age game is on nobody's list. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know what's funny? I see Helldivers 2 in here. I don't see any fucking nomination for Space Marine at all on anything. Right there. Where? Oh, right here. Best action game. It got one nomination. <laughs> that's terrible. Should be game. Should And it's going up against Helldivers 2, which honestly, in my opinion, for, for Space Marine 2 is a better game than Helldivers 2, but... Uh, it's a better game than all those games. But it's right also there. going up against fucking Black Ops Six. Everybody loves that stupid shit. Um, I don't know. This I'm is, just saying, it's just it, it, it's pissing me off that fucking. It's fucking stupid, man. Yeah, it is. I agree. It's stupid as hell. I kind of mm. think that game awards in general are kind of stupid. These Nowadays. guys usually are good. Well, not this year. Yeah, that's what's pissing me off. So, anyways, you got any more to add about that on your rant? No. All right. 
Well, let's get into the old heyday of Xbox Live. And I don't know how long this is going to go, but good thing you had a rant because that filled out most of this episode, likely. So uh worked out. But uh I just... Xbox Live obviously doesn't exist anymore. It's just it's just basically Game Pass now. That's basically what it is. And mm-hmm. I remember Xbox Live. I mean, I just remember getting that fucking when I opened up that Xbox and you fucking have that little card and it gives you like fucking 30 day free trial or whatever of yeah. Xbox Live. It was like those AOL fucking. Yeah, discs. it was like or I think I think on the original Xbox, you got I think you got a year. I feel like. No, you got a month when you bought games. No, when you bought games, it would give you like a month. But I think when you bought the console, I think they gave you like six months or like a year. Mm-hmm. It was like a longer time when you bought the console. I think it was six months. I think it might have been six months. And then every time you buy a game, you'd get 30 days free. You'd get a free trial in there in the little cart. Like there'd be a little card in there and you just scratch the code and it'd give you a free 30 days of Xbox Live. That's cool. Um, And so I remember like when I first, because when I first got the Xbox, and again, that was the first console that I had and I think that everyone had where it was built in the online was built in like the ether port ethernet port was built directly into the console so you could directly connect to the internet or other consoles now you couldn't browse or anything like that but like you could get online to the game servers basically and so uh, I fuck man I remember playing like all kinds of shit Halo obviously like well Halo 2 man uh, that was cool as hell. And I remember those little orange cards, right? That was what it was. It was that orange card that would be like, it would say Xbox, and then it would have like the Xbox in green, and then it would say live with that like fucking thing with the exclamation mark at the oh, end. It looked like the live wire. Yeah. The graphics. Yeah, that was fucking cool as shit. <laughs> and it wasn't that advanced on Xbox, original OG Xbox, but when we got into the 360, that's when the Xbox Live started changing the game. Because that was when they included like the avatars, like we were talking about in the last episode. That was when yeah. you got hug from a friend. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Um, and that was when you get into the innovation of online. Now Xbox 360, you started being able to download movies. You started being able to, you know, uh, as being part of a member of Xbox Live, like you got access to do all that. Hell, they'd even give you free shit. Like you could download free movies. They'd give, they'd offer it up all the time on the little marketplace. You download free shit, get free episodes of shows, um, all kinds of crazy shit. And when you were playing online, there was that anonymity that existed because no one could like Google your gamer tag and figure out who the fuck you are because that shit didn't really exist back then. Like, <laughs> Nowadays, like people put their gamer tags on their TikTok and their whatever, right? So like you could find a motherfucker. Like if somebody really pissed you off in a game today, you could type in their gamer tag on Google and you could probably have a pretty high chance of finding out who they really are, right? Back in the day in the, in the early 2000s, that didn't exist. Like there there was no there was no database for that yet, right? Like it didn't it wasn't out there. So you could go in and, and man, and people said the nastiest shit, man. The like gamer the, word. Oh, dude, man. <laughs> everybody. And, and listen, everybody did it. That's why, again, that whole like thing about like the meme online of, oh, hey, guys, uh, the, the group chat from the old Xbox Live days got leaked. Uh, we're, we're all going to jail. Like they're me, or it's like the guys in there in court. It's like. Me and the boys sitting in court as they're reading the Xbox Live chat, uh, fucking verbatim or whatever from what we used to say, and like <laughs> it was like remember that old uh, that Eli Manning um, uh, SNL monologue, not mm-hmm. monologue, but uh, skit. Yeah, yeah. When he's in court and like uh, he's in court for whatever, he's like a uh, lawyer. I would like to read the defendant's uh, internet history. He's like, um, I would like to plead guilty to the crime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's yeah. the same thing. Like, uh, I would like to read the the client's uh, Xbox live chats. I would just plead. I would like to plead guilty. Just, yeah, just don't read it. Yeah, don't even read it. Just I'll just plead guilty. Just don't read it. Because uh, yeah, they they were bad, and we and dude, that was back when like uh, in certain games they didn't have the ability for you to mute people or to kick people out. Yet. You know, your headphone had to do it. Your headphones had to do it. You had to push the physical button. You could mute. You could mute. But it would, but it would mute, mute everybody. Everybody. So like you couldn't hear anyone. And mm. shit, man, that was back in the day when you had the, the remember the little headset that came with it, and mm-hmm. it was the one ear. Oh, and yeah, I've seen those. You could fucking you plug it into the controller and. 
you I heard get, that little box adapter thing. Yeah, you had to buy the little box adapter that you could have in there. And um fuck man, that was cool shit. And then when the 360, you remember it came out when they came out with that little attachment that was the Wi-Fi attachment? Yeah, so you could use wireless ones. Yep, so you didn't have to no longer plug in the fucking Ethernet. That's how fucking old we are. Is we knew the internet when you had to plug it in. Like you could, there was no Wi Fi. Like Wi Fi didn't come around Dude, until like. How long Microsoft been out? Now? Uh, Xbox been out? Oh, uh, 2001 was when the first Xbox came out. The OG one, I believe. And they still refuse to use Bluetooth. Yeah, they will not use Bluetooth. Like you have to get a specific fucking. Whatever their fucking, um, was it the 2.4 gigahertz thing? Yeah, whatever it is. I will say this though, okay? So like. On the Xbox headsets that I buy, that are, well, I buy like the rig ones, the Plantronics. Well, I think, I don't know who owns them now, but um, those have been the best quality headphones I've ever had. Better than Astro, better than fucking uh, Turtle Beach. Turtle Beach were the most comfortable ones I've ever worn, but I haven't had one in a while because on, I think it was the one Xbox One X, they uh, they had this issue where the sound would crackle because uh, it, was, it was on a frequency that interfered with, like, Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. So now, like, I don't know, Rig does it where they put it on a separate band. And because it plugs just into the wire or the... Uh, maker, damn. Yeah. It, it, pl- it, play, it plugs in onto the uh, USB plug. And then the signal gets sent from the thing that you plug in the USB to the headset or whatever. And so, like, it's it works great. So I haven't, I haven't had any issues with those. But I will say... Um, yeah, back in the day with the Wi-Fi, like you, you had to wire hard wire in your helmet. And so like the original turtle beaches, when they'd have those, uh, those big headsets, right. Um, those things were cool as shit, but the original ones, you still had to hardwire to the controller. <laughs> like you would have, uh, there was too much, there was too much in there. You, just, you couldn't make it wireless. Yeah. It couldn't make it wireless. And then they figured out, I remember the first one that I got when it was wireless was, this one that had, uh, it came with this tower. It was like a fucking small PC tower that it came with. <laughs> what? Oh. It came with this like small PC tower. And you had to plug that into the Xbox and it had physical dials on it. So you could adjust the EQ and like the sounds and shit. And the microphone, it was very innovative at the time because the microphone wasn't connected fully. It was just a 3.5 millimeter jack, so you could remove it if you didn't want to talk, like if you just wanted to have, like if you just want to play single player or whatever, and you just wanted to have the headset on, you just pl- unplug it and you stick it on a thing and it automatically would mute the mic. And then when you plug it back in, it would automatically engage <laughs> the mic. So like that was fucking cool. But again, you still had to physically plug. There was a wire that you physically had to plug into the controller for your voice to go through. Like if you didn't have that plug, your voice wouldn't you couldn't broadcast your voice through on the xbox so and then obviously over time they figured out how to like make it better obviously like what we got now but xbox live back in the day man remember xbox live arcade like that was the thing where like you could get cheap games or even free games a lot of times like because again xbox live used to give you and now it's kind of it's i get why it's relevant because the game pass exists Mm -hmm. but Back in the day, if you were an Xbox Live member, you they'd give you two free games a month. And a lot of times they weren't AAA games. Like maybe twice a year, you'd get one old, little older AAA game. you get like a really high-end game, but that maybe was like a year or two old. You'd get it for free. Most of the games that they'd give you for free were Xbox Live Arcade games. And there were a lot of good fucking Xbox Live Arcade games that existed back in the day because that was when Microsoft was really pushing the independent artists or independent studios. And hey, uh, what was that game? Remember with the block and it would fucking sc- go across the screen and you did it to the music? Oh, the Impossible game? Yeah. <laughs> that was fucking on Xbox. Like that was that was created for Xbox Arcade, Xbox Live Arcade. So it launched um, Rage Quit, which helped boost uh, Achievement Hunter. Yeah, exactly. So, like, those those accomplishments of those people who were on Xbox Live Arcade originally, those helped launch a bunch of shits that were related, or, you know, unrelated or related. Like Microsoft Assemble Studios or some shit like Something that? Something like that, yeah. Because remember, that was when they were buying up all the independent studios. That was like, it was like, um, what should we call it, like Fox Searchlight. Yeah. Searchlight. Yeah. yeah. And so it was cool because then they'd give them to you for free and then you could play them and then like it, it was Well, they it was still cool. kept it going for a while when they because remember they used to give you two free games? Yeah, that's what I was saying. They used to give you two free games every month. And one of them was usually an independent company. Yeah, and one of them was independent or like an Xbox Live Arcade game and then one would be like A classic game or yeah. something. Yeah, and then once I was telling Ruben like once or twice a year they'd give you like a straight like 
triple A fucking high end game that was still they only sixty did that bucks. Once, though. They did they do that once a year. No, they only did it once. That was it. No, I remember they, they, that. They did it no, they never do yeah. it again. No, they did. No. They did. What was the game? I don't remember what the game was, but I remember they did it once and they never did it again. I remember there was a, there was this whole thing about it. They were talking about that it backfired on them. Oh. Because I don't know people like so they were saying like literally there were thirty million people playing Xbox Live. Mm-hmm. 15 million downloaded it. The number still stayed at 30 million. Oh, so it so didn't help. It didn't help. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, now it makes sense why you don't get those anymore because it's obvious. Game Pass yeah. exists. You have access to fucking everything. Yeah. It, $9.99 a month or whatever the fuck they're charging now. $14.99 a month. You get access to all the shit. <laughs> so it's worth it. I mean, it's, it's still, again, Xbox Live was $9.99 a month just to play online. Like, that's what a lot that's of people cool. don't realize. And yeah, listen, I, I want to bitch and complain about Xbox Live, the price is going up, right? But one of the things that a lot of the old old heads who played games don't fucking really, I don't think, understand is the fact that, yeah, Xbox Live used to be fucking nine 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 a month, right? It's but like everything back then. That's all you got. You just got the ability to play games online and to download games. That was it. You didn't get anything with that. Eventually, they put on the two free games a month deal. That wasn't starter, but that was eventually that's what you got. And then people, I think, got spoiled. Now they get told, oh, Game Pass, we're going to introduce this thing to replace Xbox Live. It's just going to be Game Pass. And it's $9.99 a month. Well, now when the price starts going up, if you look at the value of what you're actually getting, not that I want them to, but they could probably charge 40 bucks a month for Game Pass, and it would still be worth it, like, realistically. Uh, so all these assholes complaining if it goes up 5 bucks, like, okay, that shit happens, man. We're getting a ton of free games. We're getting access to, like, all of the Xbox exclusive games. For sure. We're getting access to... Fuck. Because they, you get Black Ops 6 for free. I This was the first year, Ruben, that I did not have to pay for fucking Call of Duty. <laughs> and I'm telling you right now, I'm real excited about that. Because I drop 100 bucks every fucking year to get the new Call of Duty game. And not that I play it. Man caught spiking his female days drink with viagra to make sure they don't get boners because you never know anymore these days <laughs> um because you don't know because fuck what was i saying <laughs> god damn it frank now you lost me that was what i was trying to do thanks well mission accomplished <laughs> um <clears throat> anyways oh yeah damn it people people just don't appreciate what we have now and black ops listen say what you want about the game I, we'll probably do an episode later on about black ops 6 another maybe next week uh, of what my personal thoughts are But good, bad, or indifferent The bottom line is I didn't have to pay for it mm-hmm. And that's a fucking intrinsic value That I can't fucking uh, I get That new Indiana Jones game Could be ass, I don't know But guess what? I would have spent 60 bucks to play it to find out Now I don't have to It's on the Game Pass for free Day one Day fucking one Microsoft Flight Simulator Day one Fucking the new one Just came out Two, two three days ago N- Normally $100 I'm playing it right now for free it's fucking awesome. So the value is there and people should stop bitching. But anyways, the old days of Xbox Live were fun. They were great. It, it uh, My favorite menu of all time is the Blades menu from the Xbox 360. The original, the original? Like that Blades one or the one that's, well, fuck, I don't have it up there. But yeah, I think it was like the Blades or the one right after that that combined the Blades with like something else. Um Man, those were the days. Those were cool. Those were cool days. But those days are gone. Those days are over. And uh, now we're moving on to things that are bigger and better and, you know, technology's improving. But I still think it's okay to talk about the old days and how great it was and how people won't get to experience that again. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. At least not until history resets itself and we go back to the Stone Age and then, you know, in 2,000 years, kids will be able to do Xbox again. Like, (laughs) because it'll it'll go through the cycle of reinvention. But... Anyways, mm. um, so yeah. All right, I think that's all I have to say about it. What do you have to say, Frank? You got anything else to add? Nope. Ruben, you got anything else? Uh, no, I think you just you summed it up here perfectly. All right, well, thank you, Ruben. I appreciate that. Don Juan Rubidon, thank you very much. Anyways, all right, well, fuck. Let's end this episode so we can go out and fucking put together and, bi- and paint some more hammer shit. Uh, anyways, go to Game Rage Magazine on YouTube. Like, comment, and subscribe there. Also... Uh, Instagram and TikTok Game Rage Magazine Twitter slash X Game Rage Mag you can follow Frank at Anime underscore Syndicate underscore podcast alright that'll do it catch you guys later
Congratulations, you survived another episode of the Team Killing Glitch Tards. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Game Rage Magazine. Also, subscribe on Twitter slash X at Game Rage Mag.